Hello, in this video, we'll be discussing a vehicle parking management system in C++. As far as the requirements of building this model is concerned, it requires the knowledge of C++ and a Visual Studio code or any other code editor of your choice. So let's have a look on the code of this project. So initially we have included the basic library that is hash, hash include IO stream. Next we have declared some variables in the form of user input, amount and count. Amount and count is initialized as 00, zero respectively. Next we have printed all the necessary statements that we need to, that we want in our output stream that uh, this is a vehicle parking management system. And yes, before that we have added a while loop inside our entire code and inside our while, while true, inside our this particular loop, entire code is written. It's because as we want a repeated uh, outputs in, in, in the continuous form in, the, in our output stream. So that's why we have created while true as it is a never ending program. It will definitely end when the parking of each and every vehicle is done. So till then we want some continuous uh, repeatedly am amounts of output. So we, we have used this particular while loop and, and inside this while loop we have written our entire code and logic of this particular program. So as you can see that initially we have uh, written all the statements then that we want in an output stream. This is a vehicle parking management system. This is this creates somewhat a friendly UI to the program. Basically, now we need to enter the number for which the particular vehicle will be parked and the particular vehicle will be picked for the operations further. For example, if we enter one, auto rickshaw will get parked. If we enter two, car will be parked. If we enter three, bus will be parked. And if we enter four, all the records and all the operations that are performed and parked on and that in that particular till that particular time will show the record if we enter four and if we press five at the entire record will be deleted and a new slot for parking will be available for that particular vehicle. So we have then used basic if else conditional statements that if user input equal to equal to one, here is user input. We have taken user input and all these one, two, three, it is an integer value. So it will be stored in an integer data type. So it, it, ha it, is, it has been stored in user input in the form of integer. If the user enters as one. So it one is particularly mapped for auto rickshaw. So the number of vehicle increases by one that the auto rickshaw will get parked. So count equal to count plus one and amount that will be added to that for that particular parking will be hundred rupees for auto rickshaw. Next, if the user enters two, that is else if user input equal to equal to two. So as you can see that two is particularly mapped for car. So the car will be parked and initially we have parked the auto rickshaw. So the count will again increase by one. So auto rickshaw is parked. Now the car is parked and the amount increases as 200 rupees for car. If user else, if user input equal to equal to three. So user input equal to equal to three maps with bus, as you can see here. So automatically after auto rickshaw car, the bus will be parked and the count increases accordingly and the amount increases accordingly. That is amount equal to amount plus 300 for that particular bus. That parking amount will be 300 rupees. Else if, if we need to show the records of all the operations we have, which we have done till now, then it will uh, print all the operation and operations value, all the statements of all the operations till we, which we have performed until this particular statement. So this particular statement is uh, for, I can, I can write it as displaying the details for the operations we have performed till now. So this particular statement will display the details. If we want to delete a particular record, if that particular car or auto rickshaw is parked and if the, if then it is gone or it is, it has emptied the slot for which the parking has been provided to that particular vehicle, then we need to delete the particular record. So we'll directly initialize amount equal to zero and count equal to zero means 
nothing is parked or nothing has uh, no no value is stored in count or no value is stored in amount variable so this particular uh, statement will delete the records else if a traffic worker or if a user enters an invalid number for example you can see that this particular program works for the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 5 and if user enters 6 so as you can see that there is no particular mapping value no particular operations for 6 uh, integer for the number 6 so the statement will pop up as enter the valid number which can be mapped with the above operations so let's run this code and see what happens okay so i have uh, initially run this code so i need to compile it once again i initially delete all the compiled files with here Uh, so I'll delete that compile file comp uh, permanently. Then I will open my new terminal. Uh, then I will write the command as C plus plus. To run C plus plus code, you need to write the command and the file name is vehicle parking dot cpp. So I will write it uh, as vehicle parking dot cpp. So the as you can see that a dot axe is a compiled file of this particular program. So it is compiled. Now it's ready to run. And so as you can see that the compile and run is successful. So we'll add first we'll park auto rickshaw. So I will one auto rickshaw is parked. Now I will park a, a particular car. So a car is parked. As I enter three, the bus will be parked. Now I have parked auto rickshaw. I have parked car, and I have bus. i have parked bus accordingly so let's see let's uh, run the operation by pressing 4 to see and display all the necessary information so as you can see that total amount is 600 till now and total number of vehicles parked is 3 that is auto rickshaw car and bus so if if i need to if i uh, need to delete a record so i will press 5 so enter the number to the uh, so and i have deleted that record uh, for that particular instance now if i enter some uh, invalid number like 7 so i will get the message that enter a valid number 7 enter the number according to the vehicles then as you can see that it comes out to be enter the valid number which can be mapped with the above operations so as you can see that 7 cannot be mapped with above operations similarly if i enter 8 so as you can see after hitting 8 You, uh, it comes out to be enter the valid number which can be mapped with the above operations as eight is not mapped with the following operations. So this was basically a basic C plus plus program to create a vehicle parking management system. I hope the code is precise and clear enough. Please do subscribe to our channel, My Project Ideas, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please do hit the subscribe button, and till until then, keep growing and keep exploring. Thank you so much.